Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and he found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold doves, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? And Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, St. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians said, we, we are God's building, and we are built on the capstone of, and the foundation of Jesus Christ. Uh, and the, the image, actually, of being God's temple and being having the Spirit of God dwelling in us is uh, wonderfully described in um, the prophet Ezekiel. And he describes a, a city where a river is flowing through, and it's a, it's a healing river. It's a river of God's grace. It's a river of God's love. And that's really what's present uh, in our own lives now by virtue of our baptisms, that healing river is flowing through our lives and it's a matter for us to be open to the grace of God and let the grace of God truly flow in our lives and so let's be open to that that experience of the temple of God that experience of God's love being poured forth into our lives and into our hearts and souls